Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are checking out the brand new game from Tarsia Studios. Now, if you don't know, Tarsia Studios are the original creators of Little Nightmares, and they made also Little Nightmares 2. Now, after making those two games, they sort of moved away from Bandai Namco, they became part of a company called Embracer Group, and they started work on their brand new game. We found out tonight that game is called Reanimal. I'm showing you the teaser trailer on screen now, which I didn't react to on the channel. This came out about a week ago. They revealed the full trailer tonight. We're going to actually react to that trailer, guys. I watched it live during Gamescom's opening night live, which was held tonight where the trailer was shown. So I'm going to show you my reaction to that trailer. And then afterwards, we're going to break it down and look at the Steam details and all the kind of information we have on the game. So get ready. If you're a Little Nightmares fan, you're going to see the next game from the creators of Little Nightmares. This is Reanimal. All right, here we go, guys. Let's watch this trailer. From the creators of Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2. And there's a, a dead sheep, I think. <laughs> a bit morbid. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Oh, big city cliff face. Oh god, it's coming back to life. It's reanimating. It's already very little nightmares looking. My god, it is so little nightmares looking. This is awesome. What the heck is that? Is that a spider or something? Man, this is so atmospheric looking. This is incredible. What the heck? Oh my god, man. That looks scary as hell. What the hell? That's like a giant sheep. There's a pig? What is that? Something riding a scooter? Yeah, this is actually like Little Nightmares, but like amped up to 10. <laughs> what the heck? What is that? I thought you were dead. Reanimal. It's like a, a humanoid goat climbing a building. Wishlist now. It's coming to PS5, Xbox, and PC. Do we not get a release date? I guess not. That looked incredible, guys. Like, we literally saw so much in that trailer. It was short, but like, I was so excited watching that because that basically is like an evolution of Little Nightmares. And I love Little Nightmares. You guys know that. But we're getting a Little Nightmares free. So it's cool to have something like this from the original developers of Little Nightmares. But looks like it keeps the same style of gameplay. You know, these little people exploring a world full of giant hideous creatures. But it amps it up in a more mature kind of way. It keeps the same sort of art style um, and kind of mood. But it does something different with it. In that game, we had like these humanoid animals sort of coming to life, trying to attack the heroes in that um, in that trailer. It seemed to be like a little boy and a little girl, I think. I think there's something on the Steam page, which we're going to check out in a minute. I've seen that on uh, Twitter. So we're going to check that out in a second. Uh, we're also going to go over the trailer and kind of comb through it and see what we can actually see, break it down. But that looked incredible. And honestly, like, it's so cool to see Tarsia has found their feet with a new game after stepping away from Little Nightmares and handing that over to Supermassive Games. But yeah, let's dive into the information on Steam, guys. Once we've read through that, we're then going to go over the actual trailer and break that down piece by piece. So on Steam it says, The creators of Little Nightmares 1 and 2 have returned to take you on a darker, more terrifying journey than ever before. In this horror adventure game, a brother and sister go through hell to rescue their missing friends and escape the island they used to call home. So it's obviously about a little girl, a little boy, brother and sister who are trying to escape the island they used to call home that's been uh, taken over by this sort of evil presence. Okay, and then it goes on to say, what is Reanimal? It says, in this co-op horror adventure game, you play as a brother and sister who go through hell to rescue their missing friends. We're trying to find our friends on this island and rescue them. Exploring by boat and on land, you must use your wits to survive, work together to escape this hellish island and the dark secret that haunts you. Then it says horror with hope. In this unsettling tale, the emphasis is on tension and a thick atmosphere, as you join the two orphans on a desperate search for hope and redemption in the direst of circumstances. So they're orphan children as well. Across a dark and twisted world. Traverse an intriguing but terrifying world where the main path is only one part of a fragmented story. Discover all sorts of mysterious locations on your perilous journey each with its own story to tell. A dread-filled adventure. Tarsia Studios is bringing a unique visual style to a whole host of new twisted monsters and broken yet resilient child characters. 
Fragments of a children's troubled past have been used as inspiration for their character design, and for the monsters that now torment them. And it says share the screen. Nobody should be forced to go through hell alone. Fully playable in single player and local and online co-op, Reanimal has a shared directed camera designed to maximise claustrophobia and tension. So it's obviously a co-op game, much like Little Nightmares 3 guys, we're able to play it either single player or with our friends either via local couch co-op or online co-op to traverse the nightmare together. So there we go guys, some information about this game. There's also some screenshots on Steam guys that we'll quickly have a look at. Some of these are from the trailer, you'll see there's this cinema with this really creepy character walking up the steps, this looks very much like a humanoid character, and he's actually dragging somebody up the steps of this cinema, so it's obvious that this was like a functional town at one point, that's what it said, like this was their home at one point, now it's overtaken by this evil entity that's kind of spread through the island, an infection maybe, or a possession, I don't quite know. In the next screenshot, we can see this weird spider-like creature with hair all over it. Almost looks like a rat crossed with a spider, but it's got human hands. And the characters are hiding very much in a Little Nightmares style behind this box so it doesn't see them. They've got an exit to their left, so let's hope they can make it across there. And we can see one of our characters has a lantern. The other character is holding something in their hand as well. It looks like some kind of um, like lure or something, you know, like a stone that they can throw to kind of lure the creature away. Then in this next image we can see that one of our characters sort of has a bag over his head. He's holding up a lantern while the other character works on opening a lock uh, to this trapdoor there. In the shadows we can see people have kind of been left for dead. I think they're actually dead. They've got bags over their head as well. And they're sort of rotting in this dust pile around the room. So it seems like a lot of people died on this island and weren't so fortunate as these children to survive. Or maybe unfortunate as the case may be. This next image is pretty self-explanatory, we saw this in the trailer again, they're just crossing this giant bridge, but it's a long drop so they don't want to fall down, but there's only the light of their torch, you know, the little lantern they carry, that's the only light around them, so they have to be very careful, obviously, they don't know what's going to be ahead or behind them at any given point, they're just navigating in the darkness there. The next image we can see uh, they're rowing a boat, again we saw this in the trailer and there's a light in the distance. It seems like maybe we're saving people on this island and then using the boat to ferry them to safety. So maybe we have to travel to different places on this island, you know, pick up survivors and then ferry them back to a safe house or something. It could be that this game is not quite so linear as Little Nightmares um, and you get to like maybe travel to different areas, you know, pick where you want to go and then it becomes linear after that as you explore that area save some people, take them back to the boat, and then escort them to uh, to safety. Then we can see another image, they're going to the boat on the beach there, maybe they've just docked or they're returning to the boat, who knows, but this is obviously the island that they were once inhabiting but was once their home, they've just moored up on the side of the island there in the boat. So that's all the screenshots, we're going to check through the trailer now guys one last time and we're going to see if we can see anything else, also just kind of rewatch it and break it down shot by shot. So obviously like the first thing we see in this trailer beyond the dead sheep is the boat with the children arriving at this giant, it seems like a giant city or a big village or town or something. And this is on the island that they used to call home. Now what we see shortly after that is the sheep reanimating. So it seems because it's called reanimal that indeed the animals are reanimating, come back to life. But in these weird kind of almost humanoid guises, almost like they're kind of evolving beyond animals and turning into humans as the story goes on, but they come back in these giant forms a lot of the time, like they're these giant creatures. We see the kids traversing in typical Little Nightmares style these ladders uh, as they climb the cliff face. We've covered some of this in the screenshot so I'm not going to go over it again, but one thing you will notice is that they're kind of going through this environment where it seems like Everything in this world is slightly bigger than them, like the beds are bigger than normal beds would be, which is kind of interesting. And we see this giant creature climbing out of a hole, and this is the spider creature that we see in one of the screenshots. It's absolutely enormous, and they're obviously going to hide from it, so you use a hiding mechanic much like in Little Nightmares to avoid these kind of giant creatures. And we see this one, like, horrible image of a sheep with its neck, like, stretching out, so again, this is telling us that these animals are evolving in the world. They're not just staying as animals, you know, in their typical form that have come back to life. They're actually evolving and mutating into these horrific kind of designs that you see throughout this trailer. We see a pig that stood up and looking at us. This seems to suggest that again, these animals are becoming intelligent like people and able to even talk. We saw this in the first trailer for the game, which I didn't cover on my channel. The pig at the very end of the trailer actually speaks which I'll show a quick clip of now. They're coming. 
So the animals are obviously taking on humanoid characteristics and becoming hyper intelligent in their reanimated versions. We also see lots of dead bodies in the water as we're kind of like traversing with the boat. We're kind of riding the waves and we see lots of these uh, dead human bodies just floating in the water. So it seems a lot of the townsfolk have been killed and then thrown into the sea, perhaps by the reanimated animals. One of the horrible things that we do see is somebody with their neck twisted backwards, their heads hanging upside down, and they're like riding after us really fast on a scooter. This is actually one of the most terrifying images in the trailer, so it shows there are going to be humanoid enemies as well as animal ones, and also designs that cross animals with humans. We also see like these bodies flopping off the shelves, so it seems like everything in this town is reanimating, not just the animals, but the humans as well, and they're all out to get us. Everything's just coming back to life to try and kill us. It's pretty horrific. There's a giant guy in a hat later on, these weird creatures with like bags on their heads that are trying to like grab us. We actually see in one image that the little girl is almost possessed, it seems, like the exorcist or something, she's being lifted up. So perhaps stuff can happen to our characters as well, like they can get possessed and taken over in certain scenarios. I thought you were dead. And then at the very end of the trailer, we see an actual humanoid goat creature with all these different hands and arms. It almost looks like the creature from the start, it might actually be a sheep, and it's climbing the side of this house and just breaking it apart. It looks very epic, but also very terrifying. So yeah, overall guys, I'm very excited for this one. It seems like the evolution of what the team wanted to do with Little Nightmares, and perhaps that's why they moved away from Little Nightmares. They wanted to do something different. Um, they wanted to kind of create the next Little Nightmares style franchise, but with a more mature and darker theme. And I'm definitely just as excited for this, honestly, as I am Little Nightmares, because it's by the original Little Nightmares creators in the same style. So yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. I'll definitely be playing through it on the channel. I'll be covering the lore, doing story explained videos and all that good stuff. So if you do want to follow my content on this game as it comes closer to release, make sure you uh, subscribe. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like and of course comment down below. With that said, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.